Hello everyone, uh, this is Tony Clark and as promised I'm doing a tutorial to help everyone get a better understanding of the some of the systems that we use in Arbiter for wrestling officials. Uh, the main function I'm going to look at today will be the self-assigned feature. So as you can see I'm logged in as an official. This is what screen most of you should see when you log in. It'll have your schedule uh, if you've signed up for Arbiter Pay, it'll show any current balance of payments that you have uh, sitting in your account. And also down there at the bottom of the screen, uh, any announcements, any information that we think uh, you really need to look at. From the main screen, you want to ensure that you have the box checked ready to be assigned. And if that's not checked, not a lot of things are going to happen for you. From there, go to your profile. Under your profile, make sure you have uh, your address filled in. Uh, that postal code is going to be very important when it comes to uh, looking at the self-assigned feature. From there, I would go to blocks and look at travel limits. See if you set any travel limits. Uh, mine is currently set uh, 50 mile distance from my home zip code this is going to be very important when it comes to looking for games that are under a self-assigned feature from there you can go to schedule and click on the self-assign so don't change anything here unless you're looking for a specific date I would just click search it's gonna take a while to search the system based on my parameters Voila, it found that I had a couple of open dates um, where I wasn't already assigned that fit within my 50 mile parameter. It's got a date in Woodstock, 41 miles away from me, and two dates at, or two openings at Willowbrook, which are both 49 miles away from me. So, based on the parameters I have set as far as travel and the open dates, um, this is what self-assigned says out there that is available to me. Now, keep in mind, not all of our assigners are using the self-assigned feature. And those that are, most of us are only setting this up for lower level contests only. Um, maybe every now and then you may find where someone has put a varsity contest that they're having a hard time feeling. They may throw that in self-assigned, but that is a uh, very rare thing that will happen. So, again, that's all it is to it to look for self-assigned meat. So if I decided I wanted to take this meat on 12 at Woodstock, I would just hit go under assignments and the system would assign that meat to me. And that slot would be removed from the available self-assigns over out there. So again, um, based on how you, you set your travel limits under blocks, it's only going to look at that 50 mile radius. Now, if you need to change that, go in there and click the days. I'm just going to click all days that I want the system to look for dates for me. And say I put in 100 miles versus the 50 miles. So change the distance, hit apply, you hit exit to come back out, or you can just go right to schedule. Again, self-assign. Don't change anything unless you're looking for something, a specific date. Hit search. It's going to take a little bit of time here to, again, search based on my parameters. And as you notice, I've opened it up to a 100 mile radius, so I get a lot more options available to me when I do that. So again, you need to check 
how you have your profile set up. Make sure you have that, at least that zip code in there. Um, you need to check blocks and travel limits. A lot of people have a 25 mile radius. They click self assign and they're kind of shocked that there's nothing that comes up on their screen. But again, it's based on how you set those radius and how self assign will look at it. So if you click self assign, you're not finding anything, you may want to go check that travel radius and make sure you have some kind of uh, information listed under your address. Uh, here's another feature you can use under the scheduler. Look at master schedule. And this will show you everything, all the games that are currently in the system. But what it's not showing you is if there's any open slots. So in order for me to see open slots, and again, I'm not changing any of these parameters. I'm going to leave it like it is because I want to see everything out there. But, you know, if you want to do things that are closer to your home or things of that nature, feel free to change those. But the main item I want to point out here is once you get to this screen, hit view slots. Now, once you hit that view slot, what it's going to do is going to show you all the games that are in the system currently and how many slots are there, who's there. And if you see something like here, there's no officials being been assigned. That means that this game currently is looking for at least one official or at least, sorry, looking for at least two officials and no one's been assigned at this time. So you should be able to then, you know, write down the game number, send the assigner an email that says, hey, I'd love to fill uh, this game 1762. Now, this game is a year old, so I wouldn't uh, do that based off of this. But, you know, go down the list, find some things that may be open that you can uh, see if you can fill. And then just send your assigner an email and let them know you'd be interested in helping out with that game. So again, hopefully this will be helpful to you, those of you that have been struggling a little bit with the self-assigned feature. Uh, as promised, I will keep posting little videos like this to help people better understand and use the Arbiter uh, to help you get the games that you need. As always, feel free to uh, send us an email, send us a text message. If you have any questions, you need any additional assistance. Thanks for your time. Tony Clark out.